Every morning, the fisherman's puppet walk inside his model lighthouse with everything in its place. And he began his day the same way. Except this morning, something felt different. Mon Dieu, the window had been boarded up. The fisherman didn't remember doing that. Even when the storm came, he was safe in here. But no two silly planks of wood were going to get between him and his routine. Ah, this would do. What was it Papa used to say? Use the right tool for the right job. something to pry off the boards. some air. He had to find a way to pry off the boards. some air. He had to find a way to pry off the boards. Nearly there. What was this feeling? The fisherman hadn't felt like this for a long time. At last, the smell of the ocean. But outside, not the sea. He couldn't believe his wooden eyes. Outside the room was another room, a replica room. And standing in it, a huge but very familiar figure of a fisherman. And he knew that if that huge figure were to turn, its face would be very familiar. Sacre bleu! If this was what lay outside, then what was inside his own little model lighthouse? In the model of his own room? It was all there inside the model. 
exact in every detail, but the tiny version of himself, it was moving. He was inside the model, he was outside the model, and just, just who was pulling all the strings? Just in, dear listeners, a general alert to all lighthouses. In spite of all of our thrilling up-to-the-minute warnings, a lone boat has gone out into the storm. Lighthouse keepers, make sure your lights are shining bright. I repeat, a lone boat has gone out into the storm. The lighthouse. The world might be falling again on itself, but only one thing mattered now. He had to turn on the lighthouse lamp high above. The life of a fellow sailor was at stake. A huge anchor blocked the only door. Whoever did it must really want to keep the storm out, or keep something in. Of course! As below, so above. When he lifted the tiny anchor, the large one was lifted by his giant self. The path was clear. Time to light the lighthouse. Now, time to get out of this little room. Zut! The door was locked. He must have put the key somewhere last time he left this room. Now, when was that? And then, my friends, the strangest thing happened. Inside this room where he knew every cranny and nook, an unfamiliar voice said, Hey, hey, you. Yes, you, the scruffy-looking puppet. Yeah, you with the strings. Over here, on the shelf. Are you cracked in the cockle? Why did you move the anchor? Why? Oh, why did you take the roof off? The fisherman. He felt, uh, well, his lucky shell had just started talking to him, and very rudely too, so he did not feel so great. You test me every day, and you thought I just had nothing to say? I'm an hermit cop, Sonny, and you might not appreciate a nice quiet hiding spot, but I do. Now, shh. And what are we hiding from? I'm hiding from the storm. Why do you think I stole the key? The key? The, the key? Where is it? Oh, fiddle crab sticks. The fisherman took a deep breath. Oh, hermit crab, craftiest of all crustaceans, I must get to the top of the lighthouse. Those sailors out there may be looking for us. We must be brave. Brave? Brave? If you can't find me my hat, I will be the captain, of course. And the captain needs his hat and a life preserver, just in case. Then, uh, adjust these ones. We will be... brave. Well, of course, courageous Captain Crab, said the fisherman. Your hat and a life preserver. Now, where would an everyday wooden puppet find a tiny life preserver and a hat fit for a crab? Perhaps a smaller hat. One that can be worn at a jaunty angle. I won't move until I'm less... Uh, scared. This scruffy-looking puppet wants us all dead, it seems. I don't think that will help. That doesn't look right. Keep going. 
I'll admit, I'm a curious crab. Ask. How does it look? Does it look uh, dashing? Oh, it does. Doesn't it? Now, fetch your captain his life preserver. Allez, allez. Allez. So, you found everything? Well, if a little wooden puppet like you can do this, then uh, I will be uh, brave. Now, just let me get out of this damn shell. Ah. <coughs> Phew. Really, I feel so much lighter, and the world feels so much bigger. I don't think I can go back into my shell after this. All right, let's do this. I'll help you open the door so you can save your fellow silly old sailor. And I, as captain, shall courageously remain here, on guard. Now, let's see. Where did I leave the key? I was holding the key while I was repairing my shell. Then I had a sudden itch, and then blast it. I don't remember. The crab had lived his whole life inside this little shell. No bigger than the fisherman's hand. But he was safe. I've lost the key, mon ami. Forget your poor sailor. You'll never be able to save him. That will do. All right, are you ready? Me too, I think. You're hesitating, shipmate. Forget what you did for me. Your captain salutes you. He would need to find his way up the tower in the darkness. And already he could hear the storm rising outside.